the uh, background of the thing, uh, the issue is about basically information management and we are working it uh, in a team uh, uh, which Fawad and uh, Faisal and myself and Amin are working in the team. Just the basic idea is that the construction productivity is never increasing and sometimes even going down. Uh, uh, unlike to the industry, which is always due to some special techniques that they develop, it's increasing even it has increased for the last 50 years, uh, 150 percent. So uh, now the use of building information management is in, uh, is increased. Uh, they are using it more, uh, and it's helping construction uh, field 40 percent uh, reduce the budget uh, in the, uh, on unexpected budget in design, 10% uh, uh, in uh, contract value, and 7% in project reduction, uh, duration. The, from 2007 up to 2009, there, there is some awareness of using uh, this technique, which is building information modeling. Uh, so this idea is basically just what we had in the traditional way, which is 2D. Uh, just uh, can I say? I hope my voice is coming up to the end. So 2D is just a uh, one, two-dimensional uh, drawings, and then 3D they created the 3D model. 4D they added time to the 3D model, which they will simulate the how the uh, construction is, will be developed. Then 5D it, they will have cost. Uh, 6D it will they will add sustainability or sustainable construction. And 7D is uh, the ultimate. At, at this moment, they will have facility management. It means uh, they will, the owner can use this facility even during the operation. Uh, this is being uh, during the life cycle, which I will skip it because uh, it's too late. So actually, uh, visualization is the basic use of this beam. And the others are cons, uh, cost estimating and construction sequencing. Uh, the advantage, the basic advantage is again, uh, in, we will have all the information in one integrated platform. Uh, so we can see all the information from different sources in one application or one software. These are different software which have been already developed. I will not go through it. So this is our idea. We, it's same as all the others, except with some uh, few changes. That we will have scheduling, uh, I mean planning from scheduling softwares, which is either Primavera or MSP. We, uh, this is already, uh, this is what they already have 3D modeling softwares. They will have, they will get a 3D model of the whole project, uh, and they will. This. The rest are not original. The rest really are not included in the application. One is inventory management, which uh, up to now it's kind of future plan that uh, to see the procurement process or they will have the procurement uh, management in this app. The other thing which uh, is lacking, basically, two times we will uh, develop the three D model of the structural three D model. But in this application, we will have just direct connection between ETAS or SAP or SAP or any other structural application. So we will eliminate, again, uh, creating a 3D model of the structure, a structural 3D model of the project. So uh, just directly, the same properties will come here and we don't need, we need only the architectural uh, 3D model. And then we will have, and all these will have uh, interaction with each other. I mean, this software can give some feedback to any of the uh, other outputs, I mean inputs. And then we will have the output, which outputs will be here. Uh, in our idea, we will have three phases of this application. Uh, the, st uh, the startup, which is the simple one, uh, we will we think that the, we should have initiate, we should initiate the, this application these uh, features that it will have database of all the structural drawings. When we click on any of the members, we should see the 2D drawings, I mean AutoCAD drawings of uh, all, uh, AutoCAD drawings related to that member. Then uh, it should be able to highlight the critical objects. 
based on the schedule, the objects which are coming in the next one week or next few days which are critical and we have to put more effort on it, it, should, it will highlight and we will know which uh, objects, uh, which members we should work uh, with. They shouldn't be delayed. Uh, it, can, it should be able to highlight unscheduled objects. Uh, it should be, uh, when it gets the 3D model of the uh, structural part, uh, there are some ones which are not assigned, no uh, time duration is assigned. It should highlight those so we will uh, uh, give some schedule in our primavera and then get the output again and it, it should uh, somehow show that, okay, all the, mem all the uh, components of the structure has a schedule. Otherwise, uh, uh, we cannot see the schedule. Construction time lapse, which is, shows that exactly how the uh, building is the, con the construction site is going to be built. Uh, the actual one, when you have the actual timing of construction of any component, then you can have the construction time lapse for actual material time lapse. When you have each member uh, concrete or steel, then you can see how how many steel you want per in, during the time, or how much uh, concrete you need during the time, and it can show all the uh, concrete members, uh, how they put together, or steel members, how they put together. And scope management, I think this is one of the things which uh, uh, basically these two, which nobody has already, uh, these three, sorry, uh, nobody in other beam softwares, they never mentioned. Scope management, uh, just it should highlight all the components which nobody is taking the responsibility. Or it should highlight the components or members which have two responsible persons. So uh, there, will, there won't be any conflict between the uh, responsible persons. The next phase which we, will think, we are thinking about, it should have clash detection between the members, uh, logic check of uh, structural wise and planning wise, how uh, is logic working? I mean, we cannot have a uh, column before we have the footing for it. Uh, so as built model in that, and uh, detect the changes between, uh, when we have as built, then we can have the uh, changes, I mean, compared between the plan and uh, as built model, and it can say, okay, which parts of the structure has been changed. Cost estimation, which is uh, kind of uh, easy, I mean, input can know, and cash flow. So based on this uh, cost estimation, then we will have cash flow time lapse, and we can see how much money we need to inject to the project during the time. And at the most end, uh, we will have these uh, uh, facilities, which is one of them for human management, as I said, it's, it will be, it needs inventory uh, software also, inventory management software, disaster management, uh, which uh, we can, uh, one of the applications will be in the future for the disaster management. And facility management, which is, again, ultimate, uh, we will, you will hand over the whole software uh, to the user or owner, and they can even manage the whole facility during the uh, operation. So, uh, why really we need this one? Actually, I think this is we can sell it to one of the basic things is that we can sell it to CSI because this is one of the key uh, things which CSI uh, keys applications which CSI is lacking. All the other uh, their uh, competitors have this one, like Bentley, they have their own software about simulation, Autodesk has, uh, all the, uh, there are some other uh, structural design software companies which have collaboration with other companies which have 3D models. So all, all of them have some collaboration except CSI, which uh, I haven't seen any software can get their input, uh, um, their output as an input for their 3D model. Uh, one software actually was uh, claiming they can do it, but in, when I went to their, uh, I mean, I read in one of their websites, but when I went to their own uh, website, which was Revit from Autodesk, they didn't mention that they can get from ECAP or SAP. Uh, but anyways, these are the other things which we have, uh, as I said, uh, it will get directly from structural design software. Extra planning features like highlighting unscheduled, 
item or critical items, scope management which we added in this uh, application, and visual database uh, of old construction drawings which none of the applications have this one. As I said, we can assign or upload all the 2D or at AutoCAD uh, drawings uh, to mem members in 3D form, and we can click on it and see and open in AutoCAD all the 